Over the past few months, it seems that dual driver in-ear style headphones have expanded in popularity. Hey folks, your OS reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the More Pilot R1. So these are a pair of low-cost dual driver earbuds which sells on Amazon for $18. And otherwise, dual driver earphones have the benefit of giving you a wider sound stage and also delivering more bass. So if you're a bass head and you struggle to hear lower frequencies or the you know, thumping of drums and beats, maybe an EDM music when you're exercising or working out, then this might be a good option to consider. They are in-ear style headsets, so they're not active noise cancelling, but they do have a bit of passive noise isolation. It also comes with a pretty nice packaging you know, as part of the deal. So let's take a closer look at what you get inside the box here. And it seems like the earphones themselves are presented just on, on the top. So for $18, really not a bad looking pair of earphones. They actually seem more premium than the price would suggest. There's also a small carrying pouch, which we'll take a closer look at in a second, and also an instruction manual that's documented in full color, tells you how to use it. Um, there is a microphone on here, which you can use to answer phone calls when you connect it to an Android or iOS device. The cable length is rated at 1.2 meters long, which is pretty average for a pair of earphones. The soft carrying pouch includes access to spare silicon tips in case the ones that are pre-included don't give you the most snug fit. There's also a clip that you can use when exercising and moving uh, just to prevent the cable from having too much noise or you know getting in your way when you are exercising. We'll take a look at the design in a second, but in terms of specifications, these earphones offer a sensitivity of 105 decibels and it offers a frequency range of 20,000 hertz, uh, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz and an independence of 16 ohms. The weight is roughly 15 grams. So they are very lightweight. You can see it's made mostly out of plastic, uh, which means that even though these are dual driver ear tips with a slightly larger uh, size than your regular in-ear style headphones, they are still quite lightweight and easy to take with you and wear without too much discomfort over a longer period of time. So in terms of the independence and frequency, these are all fairly average specs. And if we take a closer look at the design next, um, you can see that the translucency means that you can kind of see the driver parts on the inside, which gives it kind of a steampunk effect, in my opinion, and overall they are fairly elegant despite the low price tag. You can see the cable here, it isn't a flat ribbon wire, but rather it's a braided uh, kind of a nylon material, which is also translucent. You can see the fabric on the inside, and it's a pretty rugged wire that seems very well built. It seems like it will last, but on the other hand, because it isn't flat, it still tangles a little bit easily. So if you just jam this into your pocket, you will notice that it tangles up fairly often, and that's something to keep in mind. The inline remote control is fairly well crafted despite being made out of plastic it's tactile and responsive and you can also tap on the center key to play pause your music as well as answer or reject a phone call. The microphone, which works well, is not noise cancelling, however, so if you're in outdoor environments which are noisy, it doesn't serve quite as well as just using the, the mic that's located on your smartphone. So the 3.5mm plug on the other tip you can see is also very rugged and durable with a bendable neck. It's also gold-plated for a very secure connection and includes an end cap as well for protection when you are traveling or on the go, and all I think has a pretty clean and elegant aesthetic. When it comes to the comfort. Um, again, these fit into my ears without any issues. You can see that they jut out at this interesting angle where the sides of the earphones actually rest on your eardrums just to prevent them from really falling loose. These aren't geared specifically for people who uh, maybe are jogging or using them for exercising purposes, but I found that with some general movements and walking and kind of shaking my head, they stayed in place fairly well and I had no real complaints. Just keep in mind that these tips don't have a wing on them, which means that they aren't the most secure in terms of that design. However, for general music listening, I think that they are fairly comfortable and, again, are very noise isolating. When it came to the sound, indeed, they packed quite a punch in terms of the bass and the lower frequency. And that works well, especially if you are listening to music that uh, is slightly softer and you struggle to hear the sound, or if you are listening to music in a slightly loud environment, you really get more of the detail and you get more of the richness with a dual driver setup. We compared these with a few other dual driver in your cell headsets, and they were very comparable. The drivers here are slightly smaller just to make the frame a bit more compact, but nonetheless, they still pack a punch and they are louder than traditional in your cell headphones with only one driver. Um, aside from looking very unique, eye-catching, and being a 
a conversation starter. They indeed uh, work quite well, especially if you listen to, let's say, EDM music or classical music and you need a wider kind of sound stage um, and also need something maybe for watching movies that packs a punch so you can really hear everything more precisely. You can check out more details about these in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been our video first look and a very quick review of the More Pilot R1, a fairly low cost and unique looking dual driver in your style earbuds.